Welcome back to Educator.com. This lesson is going to be all about how to apply styles to links. So the basic links that you're going to be dealing with are these four pseudo elements, and these correspond to some of the styling that was available in HTML before CSS was even around to style the different uh, sort of history states of, of various links. So for example here, um, this page has some links to a couple of websites that I've visited recently. So the browser history indicates that I've been there and um, they're showing up as purple instead of blue. Um, so these are visited links. Blue is just the regular normal link. Um, now active is when you actually uh, take your cursor and click on it, um, then it, it changes color. Um, and then hover there's no default style set for hover, but hover would just be if uh, you put your cursor over the link, or you can also tab through and um, tab so that the, uh, the element is kind of highlighted here. Um, and you can see that Chrome gives a special sort of border outline, um, but you can control uh, additionally what other sorts of uh, stylings uh, get applied to these different states. Um, there's a, there used to be a bit of a debate on whether or not you should be allowed to change these because um, you know purple is fairly universally recognized as a link that you visited already, blue is one you haven't, and you don't want to be uh, interfering with usability and confusing the users. Um, however, um, it can really clash with the styles of your websites, and enough people have changed the colors and the default text decorations. Um, for example, with this, you could set the, the text to just be no underline instead of always having underline. This is common enough now that uh, internet users generally know how to recognize links. As long as you're uh, kind of making the effort to make sure that it's clear um, what's going on with with you know visited and unvisited and and clear that it is a link in and of itself. So you can use these to style, but also try and make sure that it's something that looks like a visited link, that looks like a, vink, a link. And uh, I'll, I'll talk about hover as well. Hover can be very useful for distinguishing um, between, you know, when you hover over a link, multiple if it's multiple links or if it's just one long sentence that's a link. Um, sometimes you'll have, some websites have one word where each letter is a different link. And you can use hover to indicate um, that just that letter is that link when you hover over it instead of the whole word and things like that. So the first thing you'll want to do with links is probably change some of the defaults. Um, uh, text decoration to none would be uh, one of the more common. Um, by default, all links have this underline. Um, so this is my HTML here. And I'm actually including my CSS files. So I'm just going to tab over to this links.css and um, take this out of comment and paste it in. So this is text decoration, sets it to none. Um, you could set it to underline or even overline. Um, now when I refresh, the links are still uh, typographically set apart because they're a different color. Um, and so it's kind of clear that it's a link, um, especially the blue ones. Um, but it's no longer underlined, and that may work better for my design preferences. Um, and also note, it's important that when I do hover over it, I can still see that it's a, a link because of the little hand cursor coming up. Another thing you might want to do is remove the dotted border on clicked links in Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer kind of can be annoying, especially when you're clicking on a link and you're not leaving the page immediately, we're dealing with uh, Ajax and JavaScript sort of scripting, um, you'll often click on a link and then it'll change something on the page and then the link that you clicked on will have these little dots around it. And you can try and get at it with border, but it won't work. Um, you have to use this outline of none to kind of remove those dots. Um, another annoyance that people find is that um, images, when they're links, um, have the border around them just, and they're the, the border is the color of whatever the links would be. So if it's unvisited and your unvisited is at the default, it'll be a blue border. If it's visited, it'll be a purple border. And you can get rid of that with this border of none um, if it's messing up your uh, design. Although you might want to consider putting something back in with CSS in order to indicate to the user that it's a link. Okay, now there's a couple of quick enhancements that you can uh, set up.